I was just leaving the old high school now. Man, you know, it's been a while. The hallways still smell the same. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing this morning? Today, I am at a place that I have not been to in a long time. I'm at my old high school. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I didn't expect to be back here this soon either, but I'm actually coming to speak to a couple classes in one of my favorite teachers class. You know, I figured I'd drop by, you know, do it for the kids. Do it for the kids while I'm back in town. My girl Chloe is here. She's helping me organize this whole thing. So, wow, it's cold. Whew, it's cold. All right, so let's just go in there. Let's run it and let's see. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Let's run it. Yo, what Whoa, up? What's up? How you doing? Good, how are Good you? you? Good. You look good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Here you go. How's it going, my G? Thank you. Let people know who you are. All right, I'll try to. Do you know who he is? You still live in LA, you got the sunglasses on. <laughs> the sunglasses don't come off. For, for rare occasions, they will. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Chloe's way better at this than I am. I don't do this a lot, so I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, Jen. Hi. She's like asking for names. I don't know what I'm doing. Yo, Chloe's killing it. She just requested an exercise. Like, she's getting the whole class up. She's going in the hallway. Like, I was just gonna, like, say my name and, like, show one of my videos. I'm so behind right now. She's just gonna name something. And if it applies to you, you have to step in the middle. I have no idea what she's doing, just for preface. Take one step forward, Aaron. One step forward, forward. Oh, so the last one that everyone stepped forward for was if you want to live somewhere other than here, step forward. And everyone stepped forward. I don't know if we have to change this or what. I don't know. We gotta help. We gotta get back right now. Everyone stepped in the middle and that question was step in the middle if you've ever doubted yourself you can't do anything. Everyone stepped in the middle. This one's for you. Alright, alright. Step in the middle if you know or you heard about Cade Spencer on <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> let's go. Four people, let's go. I have not made it yet. It is okay. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, hold on, hold on. Step in the middle if you know who Nathan Spicer is. Yeah. Ah, damn it, man. My little brother made it. Every time, man, Nathan always wins. Every time. <laughs> so, basically, I'm going to tell you my journey about how I made it out of Jackson. You're probably thinking, I ain't got the money. I can't get out of Jackson. I don't know if I want to go to college. I don't know if I want to just work a job. But I'm telling you guys, if you want to do something, it's so possible. I'm a girl that comes from Jackson on the south side, uh, 304 East Addison, by the King Center. Um, I come from a low-income family background. I didn't even know that I could actually go to college. I said, what? What am I going to do? But what I did was I found my passion. Find that thing that you're passionate about and it will take you out of Jackson if you just believe. <laughs> And I'll just start, I guess, by telling you guys my story. As different as our stories are, they're actually very similar because we both hit a very low point. Um, we both continue to persevere through places that we both thought we wouldn't get through. We both had people tell us that what we were doing is wrong. We both had people trying to pull us back to Jackson. We both had all the odds stacked against us. So. Um, although the paths we took were very, very different, the stories do you know, tie into each other a lot. So I'm gonna kind of tell you where I'm at now because I think you guys will listen a little more. So right now, um, I'm living in Los Angeles with a group of social media people. I have 1.7 million followers on Instagram and 1.2 million followers on YouTube. Um, I create content five days a week, which I do post to my YouTube channel. Um, and I only say this stuff not to show off, but with you with your heads down, you might listen a little more. So, rewind. <laughs> I went to Jackson High, uh, played soccer my entire life, just like Chloe, through high school, you know, like cared just enough to get by, which I don't recommend, do good in school, try hard, but like, I don't know, I wasn't dumb, but I just didn't really care to try, homework wasn't like, my thing, I didn't really like just put a lot of energy into school. I tried on a few subjects and I think English was one. I liked English, I was always really good with words. So I remember going in and like handing in my last paper, which was like basically a make or break paper. I mean, not that I had a bad bad grade, but it was a big, it was a big grade. The paper was a big grade. So I go hand it to her and she just tells me and looks me in my face. She says, I can't accept this. And I was like, well, why can't you accept it? Like you've accepted all my other papers. There's nothing wrong with it. So you haven't been here X amount of days. And I was like, they didn't say anywhere in the syllabus because most college teachers will write on the syllabus or whatever in the first week it'll say you have to show up or if you're absent so much or whatever that'll be written somewhere it wasn't told me i couldn't accept my paper which was the grade breaker like zero percent on a huge paper it's obviously not great 
And so I was just like, all right, well, your class is stupid, this is stupid, and I'm leaving. And at that moment, I knew that college was not really for me, but I had that mental belief in my head because I was doing this other business where I could do whatever I wanted. I was like getting so confident about what I was doing on the side that nothing else mattered. Well, you know, I saw young kids making a lot of money, so I had the vision, you know, I could see that it was possible to be successful. All these kids making this money skipped college, whatever, and I was like, okay, like it's, it's, it's attainable to be successful without formal education. It's the mindset that I got in my head. So that was enough for me to say, you know, forget college. So I continued to try to build my business all summer, told my parents I was going back, told my parents I was going back, told my parents I was going back. And then by the time school rolled around, it was kind of like, oh, like you haven't really signed up for classes. And I was like, oh, darn, you know, like, must have forgot. Like, you know, terrible excuse, just me being like a terrible kid. The business fizzled because, you know, I got a lot of adversity. I faced a lot of adversity in this, in this town for doing what I was doing. Um, and eventually people started to not believe the path that I was on. And then it was like, all right, you know, your get rich scheme is gone. What I told everyone I was going to get rich doing is I'm no longer doing. And I'm like, no longer, like, there's not really much there. It's kind of all, it's kind of all fizzled. So like my, my results are like, what I had wasn't that much. You're kind of back to square one, right? You thought you had it all a little bit, thought it was only going to grow, and then everything you thought was going to grow stopped. So I humbled myself, I got a job serving tables at Cracker Barrel, this one in town. So this brings us to a year I've been out of school. I'm a year out of school, my friends are sophomores in college. I'm at Michigan State, I'm going up there to like party with them, you know, I think that that's so cool at the time. My friends are in fraternities and like, trying to like live vicariously through their college life and that's just what I thought was cool. Like, And then I started to realize that there weren't like many avenues if I continue on the path that I'm on. So I made it a point to like use the knowledge I had acquired in this old business to start to build connections. And I started to try to reach out to as many people as I knew that I met in this old business. And another thing that I learned in this business was you have to fake it a little bit until you make it. And so I got offered like a, a good paying job at the time for having no experience working um, contracted actually by Apple. So I found myself managing a crew of 10 people. Um, I think our first place was Dallas, Texas. So I'm 19, I'm managing like 50 year olds. Um, we're working with like multi-million dollar equipment. Um, and I had just like gotten myself into a position of, I guess power or a position of where I could like finally use my skills. But use this as a stepping stone. I'll kind of preface everything I'm saying with everything that you do in life, is just, it's a staircase. So you're using one stair to get to the other. So I realized that I was making really good money at this job, but it wasn't the end goal, like it was cool. I was traveling and like that was fun, but like that wasn't the end all be all. Like I didn't plan to support my kids one day off of this job, it was finite, it was a contract. Once the work was done, the job was over. So I used it as a staircase, I realized where I was and I started to save up money. I, need, I knew I needed an exit plan, I knew that this wasn't forever. And so that's when myself and one of my friends, Mr. Shire, we decided that we were gonna move to California, again, no experience really, like no really good reason to do this, but like that was the land of opportunity, that was the land of dreams, that was like where we thought that we could use more of these business skills we had acquired and try to use these networks to become successful. Him and I throw all of our stuff in my car, we drive clear across the country, we have nowhere to live, we have no friends in Los Angeles, we completely won it, like 100% had no real reason, I mean, no real reason to be there other than the dream, other than like the confidence in our heads that we were gonna make it. Like we knew that if we got to LA, no one was gonna stop us. We had this we had this incredibly strong depth of vision. So we make it there, we're feeling good, we got money in the bank account, we get to California. The whole, the, I'm sorry, the apartment we get, the only reason we get this apartment is because they let us move in that day. We didn't have anywhere else to go. So we get an apartment that let us move in that day and we slept on wood floors and one pillow and one blanket, zero furniture two bedroom apartment, we had nothing. No pots and pans, no mattresses, no dressers, no TVs, no couches. I mean like literally zero, like just what we brought, which was like trash bags of clothes. Until the first month um, that I lived in Los Angeles, I was riding my bike and had a terrible accident. Broke my arm, I got like 10 stitches in my chin, stitches in my lip, and I was uninsured. I didn't have medical insurance at the time because my previous job had, had offered it, and I left that job and I was in between insurances. So that big bank account that I was so excited to have went to zero because I would refuse to go in debt. So that brings me to rock bottom, like complete zero. So I have this apartment where I have to pay $800 a month to live. I'm in Venice, California, um, and now I'm injured and I have no real skill set. I have no, my resume is not that strong. I have no money and it's really is not looking great. Like I'm just like, damn, like I literally have nothing. Like I'm in California, which is cool, but 
I can't really pay for where I live. You know, I don't have resources to do really much of anything. I had a credit card, which I ran up to the max. Terrible idea, don't ever do that. <laughs> At a very young age, it's an awful idea. And then um, that's how I survived rent for a couple months. And then I asked my grandparents for one month rent. I was only help. I couldn't even come to like ask my parents for it because I was so embarrassed. Um, so I didn't even ask my parents for money. I asked my grandparents, who I don't even know if my parents ever found that out, for one month of rent. And that was the month um, that everything kind of changed for me. My buddy who studied film in Michigan State moved out. Um, I started to help him on film projects. We started to travel. I started to get good at using cameras, which previously I'd never picked up before in my entire life. Besides a GoPro when I was snowboard when I was little. Other than that, I'd never used camera. I started to get really good at doing camera stuff. started to get really good at editing. We're starting an application, a social media app. The idea was to divide genders. It was going to be called the locker room. Um, and there was going to be a guy's locker room and a girl's locker room. And this was going to be the next big thing. Um, and so everyone invested money to that, blah, blah, blah. But I got in to help with the content creation side. I was doing, I was helping them with marketing, creating videos, doing everything that I could to try to be a part of it because I had no money to invest. I had no skill set to add to the table besides my video work. Long story short, um, we started to travel and one of the biggest investors and advisors of this app was Jake Paul, who I'm sure some of you know, do not know, <laughs> may know, probably all know. We were traveling, shooting a series together called Jake Goes to College and I was a videographer. And as this app kind of fizzled, uh, Jake asked me to work as a full-time videographer at Team 10. Um, and so Team 10 is basically a talent incubation model where they take people who have zero followers, give them all the followers, and in exchange you take a percentage of their career, um, which sounds kind of crazy, but that was what it was. It's the first of its kind, it's first of anything like that. So when I got offered to do video work for social media celebrities who had literally tens of millions of followers, um, I jumped at the opportunity. It was something that I couldn't even have imagined. Worked at that, you know, I just stuck my head down and worked for probably like four, five, six months. And I said no to girls, I said no to going out, I said no to everything just to work. That has boosted me to where I'm at. After I picked my head up of six months of work, you know, my bank account thanked me a lot. I made more money than both of my parents combined in two years. From that spun, you know, followers and everything it is now. But it, it's it's crazy to, just to, to think of like at, like I said at the point of no you know no return when it looked the most gruesome um, that's when you get offered opportunities I wanted to just grow out of the current circumstances that I was in and because I worked so hard I in turn was offered a lot of crazy opportunities now I get to live with seven of my best friends in a 15,000 square foot mansion in Calabasas and we create videos every single day and we basically do whatever we want as a job. So it's kind of crazy that it's gotten to where it's at, but again, it's like right when you think that you have nothing going for you, um, it can turn around immediately. So I think tying into what Chloe said, persevere, continue to work hard. Um, do not give up when look, it looks gruesome. Um, uh, and, and right now we're really young, so if we fail, if we go to zero, we you know don't have families to support. We don't have a lot of things to worry about. If we're broke, not a lot of people are affected other than us. So you know, just go for it. Like Chloe said, jump. Um, you will land somewhere, and if you, wherever you land, you will get back up. Okay, one of my old teachers wanted me to come in her class. Are you? Am I allowed to? Am I allowed to come in? This is my thing. Oh wait a minute. This is the best teacher oh, in all you're, of Jackson High. One quarter for a shout out? Yeah. My price is a little bit higher than that. It's about to be 2018, my prices went up. Is that even yours? Yes. No, it's no, not. Sure. I feel like your name's not Alfred. Alfred. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's got Miss Nelson's signature. What kind of stuff is in here, though? Uh, it's, not, like, it's not important. It's not in AP US history if you get that. I don't know, I don't know. I don't think that's a good enough price either. Highest bidder for a shout out on Instagram? What did you say? Wait, these? Yo, fire. Bro, I'll, I got you on the shout out. Dragon, D R E A G A N. Okay, that's one. Uh, that's it? What's the rest of the name? Shalfat Lupo, C H A L F A N T L U P P O. That's a super long name. All right, G. Well, we out here. That's what it costs. I offered a pencil, but um, said I got some super fire ultra boost. I'm actually size 10 and a half, so I'm actually just gonna put them on right now because my boy knows. Fire, bro. Fire, bro. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm gonna give him his shoes back, but he might have got a free plug on my channel. I don't know. Damn, Miss Nelson has a picture of one of my old friends, Daryl. Daryl has passed away since. So sad. You remember Daryl, right? Seriously, you're the best kid. My old principal's mad at me, I think. Now we gotta do a group picture, but my old principal is still mad at me. Nothing's changed. Guys, this is crazy. I used to walk these stairs every single day. Three flights of stairs every single day. 
Chloe, you killed it. You're like a professional speaker. Thanks, man. I got up there and I was like, my name's Jeff. <laughs> you were my like, name's Kate. you were like Oprah Winfrey up there. I'm like, I do YouTube sometimes. Hi. I was just leaving the old high school now. Man, you know, it's been a while. The hallways still smell the same. The kids are cool. They're stoked to see me. The ones that knew me, I'm not saying I'm not famous, but you know, some of them knew me. But yeah, let's go see what's next. Um, my high school is actually really dope though. It's kind of like a castle. Uh, you guys gotta, you're gonna wanna check this out. So as you guys know, Nathan got a tattoo yesterday and I have to see if he's confronted my parents because I wanted to film it if he did. So I'm gonna go talk to him. Oh, Nathan, have what's you up? talked to mom and dad about your tattoo yet? Mm -mm. I know they didn't watch the vlog today because they would have watched it with me. I think they were too busy. They were like doing stuff today. They didn't watch the vlog, so. Yeah, you guys were watching Netflix earlier, so. Uh, and they usually either watch YouTube or Netflix, I feel like. Yeah, they knew there was a tattoo artist here, but I, I only showed them like my little. Yeah, they, they saw yours. You have to talk to them tomorrow, bro. Yeah, I've been wearing this all day. So they can't see you. Oh, bro, bro. All right, you have to confront them tomorrow, bro. You have to. Okay. All right. They're gonna, mom's, I think mom's gonna trip. Kate gets a tattoo, it's like, oh, it's just Cade being Cade. But if Nathan gets one, it's like, not Nathan. All right, guys, that is it for the vlog today. I went back to my high school. I was able to talk to the kids, give back to the kids. I realized that Nathan is more famous than me. I feel like I'm realizing that a lot. Even, you know, the video I posted with him yesterday got more views than most of my videos. So that's a tough one to swallow. But guys, I'm going to start doing post notification shout outs. So starting in tomorrow's vlog, if you have turned my post notifications on, comment done below and I'll be shouting you out. I don't have one for today because no one's commented done. But starting tomorrow, I'll be shouting someone out at the end of every vlog. So be sure you are subscribed and turn your post notifications on and comment done. Um, and I'm going to be shouting you out in my Vlog just got word my new merch samples are in Los Angeles. So right when I get back, going to be debuting those for you. So stay tuned. But guys, that is it for the vlog. If you like the vlog, be sure to like the vlog, click the thumbs up button, comment below what I should do more of, less of, or continue doing because I read all the comments. It's very important you do that. Check the merch link in bio. It's super hot fire. And lastly, if you're not already a part of the family, be sure to subscribe because it's only getting better. Take it easy. Peace. Psh, psh, psh. They expect me to do dumb shit, but they don't expect you to do dumb shit. So.